back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your own dragon mask. Let's get into it. So first you want to get some cardboard. Then you want to measure where your head is on your side point of view. Make sure you mark it with a pen or a sharpie so you can be sure to cut it out later on. Be sure you want to sketch out what the mask looks like. I want mine to look like this. Now you want to have two pieces of cardboard like I do. And once you have them, you can start sketching out your dragon like this one onto your cardboard. It's okay if your sketches are a little off. They're only sketches. And now let's start to paint them. If you have any extra pieces, just make them out of extra cardboard, and then you could just glue them on later. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm in new clothes and everything. That's because it took me a day to finish everything. But I got top, the jaw, the little horn, and the ears, and we also have some teeth, and now it's time to glue. So while we're waiting for the glue gun to heat up, I'm going to show you how you're going to have to glue these. So, you want to grab your top part and grab all the accessories. So, like for me, I have ears and a horn. So you want to glue that on first. So, you want to glue the ears on like that. And then the horns on like that first. And we don't want to glue the jaw on just yet because we're going to do that later. But um, we also don't want to glue these the teeth together because that's how our mouth is going to move and open and do stuff like that. So let's just wait for the glue gun to heat up. Once you have glued on all the accessories like this, you want to glue the top part of the jaw, like this, to here. So, this is going to be the top part of your dragon mask. So next, what you want to do is you want to glue a giant top piece, like this, to the top of your jaw. So it looks like this, but only do it on one side. I just think it's easier so then we could line the other piece up with this part once you line did your one half up with this part you could glue it on and then there is your top part that's the top part of your dragon and you don't have to touch that for now now we're going to work on the bottom part before you work on the bottom jaw pieces, make sure that you have these lined up with the right parts on this. Because if you mess that up, like if you put this here, you could obviously tell, like if you put that there, you could obviously tell that it's in the wrong area. And if you mess that up, then you'd have to restart the whole project. So make sure you have it in the right area like that honestly i would say that this is the hardest part because you have to make sure everything is perfectly aligned so what i'm doing let's pretend that this is the jaw um so you have to have this and this perfectly aligned so that it fits your dragon so what i'm doing is that I'm putting the jaw piece where it's supposed to go, but on the bottom. And then the top part of the head on top. And then the jaw like that. And then, yeah, it's just hard to explain. But let me just show you guys. So this is what I mean. I have the bottom jaw right here, the dragon right here. And then I just have the teeth right here. And I glued it on the bottom, as you could see, right there. So everything 
is perfectly aligned and now we're gonna do the thing where we did before and we'll take this part and put it right here so everything is perfectly aligned now let's go so once you have glued your jaw together you want to have another piece of cardboard same color as your base to put under your jaw so we're gonna glue that to here so it goes like that so you can open and close the dragon mouth once you have glued your little cardboard patch to the bottom of your jaw you want to cut two little holes in it so you could put elastic through it so the mouth actually works if you want your mouth to work in a good way you want to take a pen or a sharpie like i have here and mark a little area on the inside like right right here and we want to mark it over here on the side right below that spot like right here so we could put elastic on so your dragon mouth will go like that and it won't look weird because these parts are stuck and then we'll also have elastic right here going into the top right here so then you could open your mouth like this sorry it looks a little weird but i don't have the elastic right now so i'm gonna put the elastic in right now okay i put the elastic in as you can see i cut holes through the bottom I put those there and I glued it to the sides right here and right here and it also got little pieces of elastic right here. I glued it to the bottom jaw and then to the top jaw right here. So I could do this. Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have your own custom dragon mask now, I will see you guys soon.